the failure of the United States, of the European Union, of the Western powers Thank to you. hold to account Israel. Taoiseach, you said it is not okay for Israel to attack civilians, attack civilian infrastructure, uh, to threaten to starve the people of Gaza. It most certainly isn't okay. It's a war crime. The Israeli government have brazenly, publicly and openly declared their intention to commit a war crime and have commenced that war crime against the people of Gaza, saying that they intend to starve of food, electricity, water, 2.2 million people. That is a war crime under the Fourth Geneva Convention. They are raining down thousands of the most sophisticated missiles known to humanity onto the most densely populated area in the world, carrying the certainty that almost every missile will incur civilian casualties, will and are destroying the infrastructure, the water infrastructure, the energy, making Gaza uninhabitable. And using, in very credible reports, as they did in the past, chemical weapons, white phosphorus, being used by Israel. And you try to suggest there is some symmetry, some equivalence, between the actions of Hamas and what Israel has been doing to the Palestinians for decades. Will you admit that the terrible loss of life and escalation of violence that we have seen in the last few days is simply a continuation of the crimes against humanity, the war crimes of the state of Israel against the people of Palestine. And it's not me saying this. You have or you should have read the reports of Amnesty International, which we asked you to read and act on, on Human Rights Watch, on the UN Special Rapporteur to Palestine, on the UN Human Rights Council, on the issue of Palestine. Do you know that the Israeli state will not even allow the UN Rapporteur on Palestine into the occupied territories or the UN Human Rights Council in? Because they know that they will bear witness to the ongoing ethnic cleansing, the ongoing illegal annexation of territory, the ongoing uh, arbitrary detention of Palestinians without trial. The impunity when they assassinate a journalist like Shireen Abu Akla. No justice, no sanctions. What do we actually get? The head of the most powerful state in the world, while Israel is threatening to commit war crimes against Israel, says we're going to give them more weapons and arms. We support them absolutely. So will you admit that the ultimate responsibility for the terrible, and every single loss of life is terrible, but is the failure of the United States, of the European Union, of the Western powers Thank to you. hold to account Israel for ongoing decades-long ethnic cleansing, war crimes, crimes against humanity, uh, the denial of the most basic rights to the Palestinian people. As Gideon Levy said, Israel, a Jewish Israeli columnist said yesterday, Israel can't imprison two million Gazans without paying a cruel price. Isn't that Thank the truth? Thank you, Deputy, please.